welcome back guys so my name is vivek uh, we can say also as dk so today onward we are uh, learning one more a series uh, like kubernetes okay kubernetes okay, spelling name i have given a wrong okay we can correct this perfect perfect Okay. So now Kubernetes. Okay. So before we start the series, we uh, just I want to show you about our notes where you can get the notes and video also. There I will. There I am updating all this thing continuously. So you can just send me the request i will approve that request and you can easily get the notes all those class notes which i have preparing at the time of uh, taking a class so i will show you then you can easily so now in the facebook in the facebook we are providing this link in the video description so you can just click on that and follow this page also i take study park and as well as one group we have okay so in the trick let's see where is our group okay oh I think so this is our group here uh, the ITK study park is the group okay so in the file section if you are able to see all the notes which i have uh, just taking a classes after that classes i have uploaded last docker compose with the postgres db i have uploaded last class and uh, class discussion also i have class links also i am uploading here okay so there you can get it so just this is about uh, a, our notes related to notes where you can get the notes and uh, our youtube channel how you can find it okay in the video description if you go this is the docker we completed that's why i decided the basic as the development level we learned the docker uh, more need some investigation about the docker we will i am planning to some other sessions okay First, I need to teach you the Kubernetes. Okay. So, this link are there. Just click on this link. We will redirect to your page. Call it in the group. That group, you can send me the request. I will approve that. Then, you can easily take the notes and do the practicals. So, thank you. Uh, let's start our today's discussion related to kubernetes so kubernetes what is that kubernetes why we need a kubernetes so you know the docker docker is the containerized tool containerized tool like just the word this may sign the sign the bias on the other one in a sign get a check on a yes i know the other jahaz they have a problem on if you see the a ship on your large hatch those may you love out of here इसके लिए होता है चलाने के लिए मतलब जहाज को मुड़ाने के लिए मोड़ने के लिए इधर उधर दाएं बाएं लेफ्ट राइट सो और डॉकर में क्या था डॉकर में क्या था डॉकर में जहाज था और ये पहिया था ये इसको डायरेक्शन देता है और कस्टेशन और कटेशन और कस्टेशन वी कैन से दिस इज द और कस्टेशन टूल सो दैट योर कंटेनर कैन deploy on that kubernetes then kubernetes take care all the things which is required for your uh, container okay so this is the kubernetes uh, the general definition kai sakte hain hum bhi general definition hi hai simple dekho yaar kubernetes docker kya hai docker ek container hai us container ko डॉकर एक जहाज के अंदर जहाज है ना जहाज उसको चलाने के लिए कुछ चाहिए तो कूबनेटीज डॉकर में क्या होता है ना डॉकर के पास ऑटो स्केलिंग काइंड ऑफ फीचर्स नहीं है डिप्लॉयमेंट का स्केलिंग का हीलिंग का है ना एंड रोल आउट रोल बैक दीज आर फीचर्स आर नेयर नॉट देयर इन दैट डॉकर वी हैव अ डॉकर फॉर्म आल्सो बट डॉकर फॉर्म इज नॉट नो वन एज राइट नाउ इज यूजिंग दे आर यूजिंग द कूबनेटीज बाय बिकॉज़ it's developed by google okay just google denote denote uh, 
donate to the some company I'll call like what is the CNF CF CNF CF okay so that uh, company right now it's maintaining about that Kubernetes if you want to see then I will show you mm -hmm. here you can see what is that CNF CF Cloud Native Computing Foundation so right now this company is this company is maintaining that uh, the, uh, Kubernetes right here this company they googled uh, uh, donate the software to this company and right now the company uh, Cloud Native Computing Foundation is uh, maintaining that uh, uh, Kubernetes right so it's uh, uh, finally first released in 2015 if you are uh, say if remember if anyone ask about that uh, kubernetes don't say i am working a last 10 years because <laughs> kubernetes officially released for the public in the 2015 uh, v1.01 i think so version they released okay so we who is the developer who is the uh, like maker for the kubernetes google but they donate that project to that cncf cloud native cloud foundation computing foundation this is the company to maintaining open source project so now this is our uh only it's a 2015 in the first release okay i will check the latest release okay so now here you can see what is that uh kubernetes I mean, just I need a my pen. Let me check. We will learn slowly, slowly, and every uh, one or one or ten minutes I will take one hour ninety, uh, like one hours, one ten hours, one point ten hours. It will depends on the topic. Okay, so this is today is the total introduction, not nothing. Import nothing is uh, like super okay. So let's so now Kubernetes, uh, but at the day, I mean, it's 2015 first release. The SK and Google is the founder, Google is the founder founder company is google theek hai but donate kisko kar diya isne cncf theek hai cloud native computing platform theek hai right now this company is maintaining the kubernetes okay so now let's see kubernetes is often observed like this is the kubernetes we can say k8s right? kubernetes is having eight word with eight letter between this one two three four five six seven eight that's why k at us we can easily say so here you can say it's the open source system for the automating deployment scaling and management of containerized application what is that meaning of containerized application अगर आपने डॉकर से कोई एप्लीकेशन कंटेनराइज कर दिया जैसे कि मैंने बताया था आपको कंटेनराइज करना कैसे कंटेनराइज करते हैं और एप्लीकेशन को इमेज को बनाते हैं उसको इमेज को बिल्ड करते हैं बिल्ड करके उसको रन कर देते हैं जैसे हम बिल्ड करते हैं तो वो इमेज बना देता है इमेज को रन करते हैं द कंटेनर बाय यूजिंग डॉकर रन सो जो रनिंग होता है ना उनको मैनेज करने के लिए हम कुबर्नेटिस को यूज करते हैं for which purpose deployment auto deployment scaling auto deployment means roll out roll back we have some feature healing auto healing and scalability scaling all these things roll out roll back means you can see roll out roll out and roll back roll back the roll out of new release New release, ठीक है और rollout means अगर देखो क्या roll new release में क्या होता है जैसे तुमने कोई release करा नया version you want to release so it will automatically it will release it new version 
so uh, suppose you, if you want to roll out so you found some error or bug in this new version so you want to roll out roll back so you can perform easily rollback operation in the kubernetes so that your mm -hmm. older version will run so now this is the word that, or you can say KTS is the KTS is orchestration engine. Orchestration engine means it running the containers, managing the containers, you know, which is available inside that Kubernetes. So now Kubernetes, we have some pillars. Okay. What is that pillar? It means cluster. In the Kubernetes, everything happen, everything happen inside the cluster. So you can say this is the cluster. Say. Cluster inside the cluster we have nodes. We can say nodes, right? One main node we can say master node. Tika. Second is worker node. We can have multiple worker node. Okay. Also we can have a multi master nodes. But as of now, just I am telling you one master node we have. Okay. Then that master node interact with that worker node by using some points. Okay. So that is the master about the master and worker node pods, deployment, service, namespace. In detail, we will discuss about this pod, kya hota hai, deployments, kya hota hai, services, kya hota hai, namespace kya hota hai, in later point of time. Just today is the basic. So we need uh, some basic points. So up some of the cluster. So let's see what is the cluster. So cluster is a machine. Some new cluster is machine okay physical or virtually physical view sakti or virtually view sakti. physical in them in on premises if you having on premises so you can just uh, maintain one physical machine inside uh, physical machine for the your cluster or the virtual machine is by using aws or any other thing you can use it okay work working together to run containerized application what is that working Together to run containerized application, it is the consist of two type parts. What is that? Cluster is two type. I have said the master node and worker node. So this is the cluster. Okay. One cluster we can say. One cluster is there. So inside the cluster we have a worker node. Sorry, master node and worker node we have worker node so let's see what is the master node and what is the master node will doing so the brain of the cluster what is that meaning brain of the cluster so this is the cluster and this is the brain of the cluster it will manage all this thing inside the cluster or master node so what is the responsible responsible for what is that scheduling container right on the nodes which node it will execute and with which node it should be stopped restart all these things managed by master nodes managing the deployment also which node should be deployed okay and providing an api for the interacting with the with the clusters right with the cluster means uh, we can say these are the providing one api to interact with the client Kubernetes is also a client server architecture or client server module. We can say client server architecture. That's why the API interacting with the cluster. So now up to this is clear to you. At the end, at the end, I will uh, revise all this topic one more time. Okay. So now worker node, what is that worker node, guys? Worker node is nothing but a running our application. That's it. Machine is to cluster that run containerized application. Now this worker node is containerized application. Hoge. Application is pod. Pod is in the pod. Pod is in the of containers so multiple containers is there so inside the containers our application is running if you know that uh, docker so you can understand easily what is the containers what is that okay so container should run in container is running our application inside the container so this is the container okay app is there 
अगर किसी ने मतलब कंटेनर में कंफ्यूजन हो ना तो लास्ट दौ, जो डॉकर के वीडियोस मैंने पांच छह अपलोड आई थिंक करे हुए हैं उनको जाके एक बार देख लो भाई ठीक है तो वहां पे क्लियर हो जाएगा हर प्रकार का डिप्लॉयमेंट मैंने बता रखा है स्प्रिंग बूट जावा रिलेटेड ओके कंपोज फाइल से कैसे करते हैं मल्टी कंटेंट ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो एटलीस्ट वहां से आपको कंटेनर्स पता चल जाए डीप डाई कोर्स आई विल जस्ट प्रिपेयरिंग समथिंग फॉर योर डॉकर बट वी नीड आई स्टार्ट अप वन इट इज तो दैट्स वन ओके दिस अबाउट क्लस्टर वी हैव अ क्लस्टर इनसाइड द क्लस्टर ओनली वी हैव टू थिंग्स मास्टर नोड एंड वर्कर नोड मास्टर नोड इंटरेक्ट विद द क्लस्टर मींस क्लाइंट ओके एंड मास्टर नोड इनसाइड दैट बाय यूजिंग शेड्यूलर इट शेड्यूल दैट प्रोसेस फॉर दैट वर्कर नोड सो वर्कर नोड वी हैविंग समथिंग पॉड्स डिप्लॉयमेंट सर्विसेज एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स द स्मॉलेस्ट डिप्लॉयबल यूनिट इन द कूबनेटीज पॉड्स पॉड्स इज द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट वॉट इज दैट इन दैट इन दैट वर्कर नोड दिस इज द वर्कर नोड ओके दिस इज द वर्कर नोड इन साइड द वर्कर नोड वी हैव अ पॉड्स right inside the pod we have multiple container or like one container is there so here you can see it's the deployable is deployable unit in a kubernetes this is the deployable unit in the kubernetes smallest right it's not a big but it's smallest we have a multiple pods that's why it's smallest and the pod is a group of more one or more container that share storage and network resource right they are sharing the storage and network resource also these container are tightly coupled and are meant to be scheduled together means agar pod ke andar koi containers hai ye tightly coupled hai bhai theek hai agar ek agar damage hoga na to dusra apne aap kharab theek hai samajh raha this meaning so deployment part padhta hai to pod samajh gaya pod kya hota hai pod is a smallest unit deployable unit in the kubernetes so inside that uh, pod we have a multiple containers right and these containers are tightly coupled right samajh gaya deployable deployments post the higher level abstractions that represent a desire state for the ports where i will uh, discuss about the files by ml files how to dip, uh, how to create uh, a yml file for that uh, kubernetes there this part is important okay but at the point of your, your reference i will just put it here you can read if you are understood it's go good if you are not able to understand understand so it's okay not a big deal okay later of point you can understand this so also so now next come here you can see services we have this is also part of what is the, this is also part of uh, files expose a set of ports here in the file we create one yml file inside the yml file sir we declare one services tag inside the services tag we declare the ports as a single unit application outside the cluster as a service act as the load balancer okay distributing the traffic across the ports in the set samajh raha kya bol raha hai load balancer ki tarah service kaam karti hai aur ye distributed kar deti traffic ko across the ports uh, ports in the set ठीक है नेम स्पेस क्या होता है नेम स्पेस तो आइसोलेशन आइसोलेशन रिसोर्स आइसोलेट द रिसोर्सेस फॉर डिप्लॉयमेंट सर्विसेज ईटीसी ओके बाय प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ अ टीम दिस प्रिवेंट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन एप्लीकेशन रनिंग इन द सेम क्लस्टर ठीक है नेम स्पेस क्या है जैसे मैंने दे दिया इस क्लस्टर का क्लस्टर वन तो इसका नेम स्पेस मैंने दे दिया विवेक ठीक है और मैंने बनाया क्लस्टर टू इसका नाम दे दिया नेम स्पेस विवेक थ्री ठीक है विवेक थ्री 
तो इन सबको नेम स्पेस देने पे ना तो ये आइसोलेटेड हो जाता है इनसे इसका कोई लेना देना नहीं ठीक है ऐसे टोटली आइसोलेटेड तो इसीलिए बोलते हैं आइसोलेटेड है ठीक है तो फीचर्स दिस इज द इम्पोर्टेंट फीचर्स व्हाट इज द फीचर्स वी है ऑटो डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑटो डिप्लॉयमेंट मीन्स Easily deploy and update the containerized application. Containerized application with the rollback. With the rollback, मतलब वापस 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 रोल बैक रोल बैक जैसे मैंने कोई डिप्लॉय कर दिया अप्लीकेशन अब इसमें देखा मैंने इसमें कोई घट से गड़बड़ है तो इसको मैं रोल बैक कर दूंगा अप्लीकेशन को ये वापस आ जाएगा ठीक है इट मीन्स रोल बैक विद दैट रोल बैक फॉर द सेफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन ठीक है इसलिए और रोल आउट भी होता है एक रोल आउट रोल आउट मैंने बताया था स्टार्टिंग वाई रोल आउट रोल आउट क्या करता है जैसे हमने कुछ रिलीज करता रिलीज न्यू रिलीज न्यू रिलीज ठीक है सेल्फ हीलिंग इंपॉर्टेंट कूबर नेट इज ऑटोमेटिकली री स्टार्ट फील्ड कंटेनर सेल्फ हीलिंग मतलब अपने आप ही कुछ ना कुछ तो करता होगा एंड रिप्लेस अनहेल्दी पोर्स टू मेंटेन द अप्लीकेशन अवेलेबिलिटी ठीक है ओरिजोनटल स्केलिंग क्या होता है स्केल अप्लीकेशन अप टू डाउन बाय एडजस्टिंग द नंबर ऑफ पोर्ट्स इन द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑटोमेटिकली लोड बैलेंसिंग सर्विस इज ऑटोमेटिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड द ट्रैफिक सर्विस क्या काम करती है लोड बैलेंसिंग का मेन पर्पज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द ट्राफिक अक्रॉस द पोर्ट्स मल्टीपल पोर्ट इन दैट ठीक है स्टोरेज मैनेजमेंट परसिस्टेंट वैल्यूम अलाउ पॉट टू स्टोर द डेटा दैट रिमेन्स एवर आफ्टर पॉट आर रिस्टार्ट देखो जैसे पोर्ट्स हुआ ये फेल हो गया इसको मैंने रिस्टार्ट करा इसमें कुछ डेटा है ना तो स्टोरेज मैनेजमेंट क्या करता है डेटा को अपने पास रखता है समझिए This is about storage management and power and load balancing, horizontal scaling, self healing, automated automated deployment. So I think it's clear to you what is the feature. If anyone asks to you, if interviewer asks to you, what is that uh, auto scale? What is the feature of Kubernetes? Simple said, simple said, automated deployment like rollout, rollback. right and if uh, the self healing if you are restart your field container and replace with unhealthy pods to maintain the application replace with the pods okay horizontal scaling horizontal scaling what is that horizontal scaling scale up to down up to down by adjusting the number of pods in set okay load balancing service ऑटोमेटिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ट्राफिक अक्रॉस मल्टीपल पोर्ट्स ओके इन सेट स्टोरेज मैनेजमेंट परसिस्टेंट वैल्यू अलाउस टू स्टोर द डेटा दैट रिमेन्स एवर आफ्टर पोर्ट्स इन राइट इट्स क्लियर टू यू वाइज नेम स्पेस आइसोलेशन सर्विस इज सिंपल ट्राफिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लाइक डूइंग द लोड बैलेंस इट मीन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द ट्राफिक across the ports now very very important kubernetes architecture kubernetes architecture is very very important we have a very good architecture explanation i will explain first inside the first first i will tell you the some theory point after that i will uh, uh, make it one uh, what is that one diagram for you diagram is there but this is not good diagram for my understanding i will take from the internet but it's not good to understand but it's simple diagram it's a simple diagram in the kubernetes this is the masters master node this is the worker nodes are there i have told you inside the worker net kubelet proxy kubelet proxy same thing is there pod inside the pod we have a container multiple container is there top of the docker inside the docker any containerization tool we can use like d container d is the one one of tool is there by using cli we can interact with our masters so we can say this is the cluster total cluster we have 
right? This is the total cluster we have. Okay. We have this is the cl cluster, the cluster. And by using this CLI, we interact with that. Okay. We have an API server, scheduler, controller manager, etcd. Okay. But, uh, we, when we send the request to that API server, what is that client and server? First of all, tell me. Uh, I will explain. What is that client and server? What is that client and server? If anyone know, please tell me. Deco. Client kya na? Ab comment kar do bhai, agar tumhe pata hai client. Client simple you can say. Client is client is where request a resource. What is that? It is requesting to access your resource. Right? This is the client. Like accessing, uh, accessing the resource. Right? Tell me. In the uh, browser, in the browser, when you open your, open your computer and uh, Google Chrome, right? So what you have done, just when you can see, just um, doing something, uh, going inside now, this so desktop, this inside the open browser, this is the Google Chrome, right? Just I am using Google, google.com. Okay, so what am I doing? I am google.com to request Google.com. So, what do I request? Browser. So, browser is what happened? This is the client. Just enter. Now, I request this resource to access this resource. So, what do we say? What do we say? Request a resource. Request a resource. Where we request a resource, then we call client. And server is the symbol. Where we, where are uh, res, uh, response to the request response to the request mane request uh, resource ko access karne ke liye request kari browser se and browser sab mein server ne mujhe respond uh, kara server uh, browser pe that means client server architecture so i can write this is client or also so you can understand easily <laughs> client what is that client so client which request to the to the server to the resource resource and uh, server easy definition easy understanding which response to the request response to the uh, request that's it now this is client and server so this architecture is this giving okay this is architecture just giving us some safe example to you okay suppose this is my one thing this is another okay so now this is my client i would say client Client. This is my client, and this is server. This is server. Okay. Now client, what did he do? Client has requested the server. Ko. Client requested to the server. Okay. Client requested to the server. Then server, what did he do? Server responds to the client. तो यहां पे क्या हो रहा है ना समझ रहा हूं 
ठीक है दिस इज द क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर वी कैन से विच रिक्वेस्ट टू द रिसोर्स अब ये क्या कर रहा है भाई ये जो है ना ये महाराज ये क्या कर रहा है ये जो क्लाइंट है ना रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा है अपने रिसोर्स को जो कोई रिसोर्स सर्वर पे है कुछ ना कुछ डेटा सर्वर पे है तो वो उसको रिसोर्स कर रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा है अब सर्वर क्या कर रहा है जो इसने रिक्वेस्ट भेजी है इसको रिस्पॉन्ड कर रहा है वापस तो विच रिस्पॉन्स टू द रिक्वेस्ट रिस्पॉन्स टू द रिक्वेस्ट उसने रिस्पॉन्स कर दिया रिक्वेस्ट को ठीक है उसने करी रिक्वेस्ट टू द रिसोर्स को जो भी रिसोर्स को एक्सेस करना चाहता तो यही होता है क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर सो कूबर नेट इज फॉलोइंग क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर ग्रेट सो इन साइड दैट वी हैव अ मास्टर नोट इन साइड द क्लस्टर राइट सपोज दिस इज द क्लस्टर ओके दिस इज द क्लस्टर वी कैन से This is not good now. I think let's try this. <laughs> It is not moving whole things. Okay, so I will put it here. Here. So now, this is what this is what our uh, cluster. I would say this is cluster. This is cluster, right? This inside the cluster we have a, a nodes. We have a nodes, worker nodes, and and master nodes. Right. This is nothing but a what is that master master node. I'm just hitting like that master node here, okay, and worker node worker node. This is the worker node, okay. so inside the master node we have a multiple things inside the master node we have a what is that etcd etcd enter api server we have a we have what is that api server i will tell you what is that i api server also theek hai iske baad a container uh, manager scheduler scheduler we have a ठीक है तो दीज थिंग्स वी हैव ठीक है तो दिस इज द आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज सिंपल आर्किटेक्चर वर्कर नोट भी है बट नॉट हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इन द वर्कर नोट वर्कर नोट सिंपल हैविंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हार्डवेयर एंड क्यूबलेट एंड क्यूब प्रॉक्सी एंड पॉट्स इन साइड द रनिंग कंटेनर इन साइड द रनिंग कंटेनर वी हैव एंड पॉट्स इन साइड द पॉट कंटेनर वी हैव ओके सो दैट्स जस्ट रिवाइज वन थिंग वट इज द ई सी डी ई सी डी इज डूइंग इट्स स्टोरिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड की वैल्यू स्टोर दैट होल्ड दैट द क्लस्टर करंट स्टेट्स like this is the cluster na so this cluster cluster when you request that to that is etc your api server then api server persist your data to etcd uh, locations so that mean is pod config which data it's storing pod configuration services definitions these data is stored inside this like this is the client suppose this is the client client request to that okay api server api server authentication authorizations okay and all these things it will perform authentication and authorization right 
and uh, process that uh, request, validate your request and process. These things have done, right? And uh, that after that, it will, uh, it's architecture I'm explaining, guys. Okay, I will uh, prepare a diagram just for that purpose, for that you can understand easily. ETCD, so you can, when, uh, when the client give the request to that uh, uh, master node, master node, the master node to API server, API server passes the data inside that EC, ECT location, ETCD location, okay, by using key value. The API server here is the important guy. They, they go. The API server endpoint to the clusters. What is that endpoint? To the cluster, of the clusters. Kya hai? And, 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 and point. To, uh, of the cluster, a cluster ka end point, okay? API server. So, if we have to access something from outside, in this cluster, then the uh, client will request the client to the API server. Because the API server is the end point. That's why it interacts with the client. Right? It client and provides the interface for the managing cluster resources. ठीक है ये मैनेज करता है क्लस्टर को फिर कंट्रोलर मैनेजर ठीक है रन्स अ सेट ऑफ कंट्रोलर दैट मैनेज द क्लस्टर स्टेट बेस्ड ऑन द डिजायर स्टेट डिफाइन इन द डिप्लॉयमेंट सर्विस व्हाट इज द कंट्रोलर लाइक रेप्लिकेटेड रेप्लिकेशन कंट्रोलर ओके सम कंट्रोलर्स आर देयर नोड कंट्रोलर राइट these many controllers are there. Then scheduler. Then scheduler. I will give the steps also. Don't worry. Scheduler. Scheduler ports on worker nodes based on the resource availability and port requirement. Schedule the ports on the worker. Schedule the ports on the worker. Matlab, schedule karta hai port ko for the worker ke liye. Jo worker node hoti hai apne. अब जैसे ही इसके शेड्यूलर पे आएगा ना कुछ रिक्वेस्ट तो ये उस नोड को क्या करेगा पॉड को बनाएगा और वर्कर नोड के लिए क्या करेगा इसको रिक्वेस्ट मतलब रिसोर्स को अवेलेबल कर देगा समझ गए तो आते हैं दूसरे पॉइंट वर्कर नोड क्या होता है बनाऊंगा डायग्राम भी बना दूंगा भाई वर्कर नोड क्या होते हैं वर्कर नोड वर्कर नोड के अंदर मैंने बता ही दिया uh, the mainly three components hota hai. the me the machine that run containerized application worker node hota hai. Kahan pe run karta hai aur apne, apne application containerized uh, application running theek hai kubelet proxy kube proxy container at run time theek hai the agent responsible to communicate with the master node and managing the container life cycle on the node what is that? The agent responsible for the communicate, communicating with the masters. They go. Ab yahan pe ye master hai na, master. Aur yahan pe worker hai, worker node ke paas hai kubelet. Thik hai. Ab ye kubelet responsible hai, master node se uh, communicate karne ke liye. Thik hai. So that meaning here is saying simple. Responsible will communicate with that master node. Thik hai. This is also, guys, this is also a node, but we put a name as the different, that's it. And configuration is the different for the master nodes. Managing the container lifecycle on the node. Queue proxy, the managing network traffic for a pods on the node. Implement service discovery and load balancing. What is that? It is implementing inside that, uh, inside that uh, worker node load balancing by Kubernetes, oh, sorry, not the Kubernetes, like cube proxies. But in the worker node, service, in the Kubernetes services is that, okay? The container runtime, what is that container runtime, guys? Any container you can take, any containerized tool you can take, you can take container D, container D, right? Or you can take Docker container. Okay, but nowadays 
people are using docker container if you want to use doc container d also you can use it in the internet you can search the doc container docker d. here you can see software like a docker or a container that manage the certain of execution of a container right So some key points, these points also I have discussed in the uh, previous slides, loosed coupling, the master node and worker node are loosed coupled, right, allowing to scalability and fault tolerance, declarative management, you define the desired states for application using a BIML file, Kubernetes controllers and worker node. The self healing also, it's restarting your uh, failed containers and replace with that uh, failed container and showing application availability detects. Kubernetes automatically detect and restart the failed container. It's not self healing. Scaling application can easily scaled up or down by adjusting the number of re replicas. Replicas means duplicates. There's a port container one, huh? same cheese. Container two, same cheese. You have the replicas. Now, benefit of Kubernetes. Benefit of Kubernetes. Portability, scalability, high availability, and declarative management like file we are using. Appli uh, portability. Application run consistently consistently across the different cloud environment where this or on premises different cloud environment it means like aws azure gcp like google cloud cloud platform and ibm ibm server also is there and on premises means hardware if you uh, make it one server and your own server then you can also do that Okay, scalability means easily scale up, meet the changes demand. Okay, high availability. Kubernetes ensure that application availability by automatically restarting failed container. What is that restarting failed container? Declarative management simplifies management by default the desired state rather than the specific state to achieve it, right? So this is the Kubernetes. So now just I am I am going to uh, draw one diagram for you here. After this page, I need to draw that. Okay. So there we need a one cluster. We need a one cluster, guys. We need one cluster, big cluster we need. Okay. So don't take this okay cluster cluster this is that cluster guys so this is the cluster inside that cluster we have no okay we have We have a master node. Okay. Master node. We have a worker node. We choose one worker node. Also, we can take one more worker node. N number of worker node you can take. Okay. Same thing with it. Okay. So now I can take one more. If exist. Okay. So the big deal you can take it like that yeah so inside the worker node inside that uh, worker node this is what is that this is Nothing but a master node. The node. This is master node. And this is worker node. I would say. 
वर्कर नोड वर्कर नोड जस्ट आई एम राइटिंग लाइक दैट वर्कर नोड एंड दिस इज वर्कर नोड ओके दिस इज वर्कर दिस वी हैव अ थ्री वर्कर नोड सो इन साइड द मास्टर वर्कर नोड वी हैव अ सम हार्डवेयर लाइक we required some hardware this is the pure you cannot find this diagram inside the internet okay i am preparing for myself okay so hardware or you can say uh, physical machine or like virtual machine okay physical machine or or you can say virtual machine राइट फिजिकल मशीन और यू वुड से वर्चुअल मशीन ऑल्सो ओके राइट एंड बिफोर टॉप ऑफ दिस टॉप ऑफ दिस वी हैव अ वी हैव अ लाइक यू कैन टेल मी इफ यू हैव अ हार्डवेयर राइट इफ यू हार्डवेयर एंड वर्चुअल मशीन नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज दैट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दिस In the top of this hardware, yeah, simple, yeah. We have a operating system, na. We required OS operating system. We required operating system where it's writing. Selecting that point. Operating system. System, right? We need a OS. We called as OS operating system, right? After that operating system, what is that? After that operating system, we have runtime container. What is that? We have runtime. Any container you can take. Any container you can take. It's your choice totally. It support. It supports maximum containers. Okay. So now, what is that uh, runtime time container container like we are using Docker? Perfect. Here you can use container D also. It's totally up to you. Okay, up to you. You can use it. Runtime containers. After that runtime container, we have also we have here et cd. or other thing you can use like uh, last thing we have api server now we prepare our uh, base is prepared right okay infrastructure is prepared right so after that we can have et ecd api server and controller manager and schedulers so let's prepare these four things also okay What is that? Uh, this is we can say etcd. Perfect etcd, or like some other thing, and uh, we can get a controller. Controller here. We get controller. And after that, I will write now. So wait. Just I am putting four things here. controller and api server yeah okay so now here we need to write what is that etcd etcd we have just put it here and copy this All right, no, this is not required. Okay, what is that? Uh, etcd and uh, controller manager. 
Yes, perfect. We have a controller manager also. Right. And after the controller manager, we have mm -hmm. scheduler. Yes, C H E D U L E R scheduler. We have a scheduler. Okay. After the scheduler, we have an API server. API server. Okay. So we need to some do the small size why because why because okay uh the, the, we have a one thing what is the thing we have so late ho jaye but this go small size hey yoga sir because mere client bhi chahiye na yaar we need a client so i forgot it okay it's okay, I can uh, add this client. Okay, save. We have one client, also take one Gola kind of thing here. Take one client, it's a CLI, or copy this, or you can say UI. CLI. UI like user interface using Kubernetes dashboard CLI CLI take a command line interface like we have a two things so now up to this it's clear guys so inside the worker node we have completed four things and etcd persist the data which is uh, related to clusters okay like uh, configurations all these things like here you can see the port configuration service definitions okay and api server take the request from the client and uh, controller manager manage the controller desired states deployment and services scheduler with the schedule the task for the worker nodes so let's prepare one worker node also inside the worker node what we required only these things are required guys so we can take a snap for this okay add a rent page so we need to add this here or just small it this one okay same thing is required just a small size do perfect now we have this and up of this we need what is that we have Okay. What is that? This is cube CTL. This is nothing but a cube CTL. Cube C not a cube lit. Let this is cube lit. Cube lit and uh, this is uh, that uh, nothing but us proxy. Cube proxy. Proxy Q proxy we have. We can smaller size like that. Okay. Now it's perfect. Okay. So now we have a cubelet and Q proxy. Top of this, top of this, we have a, uh, what is that? We have a top of this, we have a 
pod. This is nothing but a pod, I can say. No, guys, we can use only one thing. Okay. Delete this and we need to increase the size of this. Okay. Great. This is nothing but a pod. We can take one more pod here. In the worker node, multiple ports are then don't we got issue pod. Okay. Pods pod. Pod one, pod two, like that. We can put it now. Pod one. Duplicate this and pod two. Here. right so same thing is another worker node we need to delete now these things not required delete this or delete this okay delete this also just copy these things or take a screenshot add to current page and worker 2 is added yeah so this is the worker 1 worker 2 nodes are completed now now this is the total architecture about kubernetes real architecture guys so now how the communication will happen the first client by using cli right we are using cli great perfect great great by using cli request to that uh, cluster let's say to the api server here you can see what is that meaning api server and a point to the cluster is interact with that uh, interact with it uh, with the client and provide the interface or managing the cluster resources right cluster resources. so we manage that right perfect after that after that api server what is doing api server will uh, what is that uh, first of all, this is the first here you can see, uh, wait, 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 guys. Wait, this is, I'm just putting a bit here. <clears throat> when you, uh, when you send a request, like a request to that uh, master nodes, first it will do, like second is that, it will do that authentication and authorization authentication authentication and authorization and <clears throat> validation and validation validation then process process that the request right who will is doing who will this task do API server will do. API server will perform this task. After that authentication and authorization and validation, it's process the request to that ETCD, like persist the data which you have sent from your from the client. So the request come to that uh, request come to that what is here that ECD ECD client means persist the data just i need to the size of a small tan is great okay so now here uh, persist means storing the data persist the data persist 
the request data request detail or data data i would say data inside inside etcd etcd right this will persist to the etcd after that persist data then it will send to the where it will send to that uh, again it will send to the uh, where scheduler the request goes to the scheduler then scheduler will scheduler will what what is do the scheduler scheduler will try to assign scheduler will try to assign nodes to the pod which are unscheduled which are unscheduled okay like here the scheduler will assign to that pod which are un which are un schedule pod un schedule pod is there right so what is that meaning guys here here scheduler you can understand scheduler as means scheduler <clears throat> will try to try to try to what is that assigning assigning nodes to pod nodes to pods which are unscheduled unscheduled which are unscheduled right here you can see right just i am one schedule unscheduled yes means you can say understand yes means schedule scheduler will uh no i don't know this scheduler scheduler will okay just i'm changing the color also okay take it clear this is also take it clear under color okay this is also need to be a, some other color so we can understand this is nothing related to this this is the task okay so now this is completed okay this is completed up to the scheduler then controller then controller controller will uh, control that nodes okay control that nodes right control that nodes so this is happening like scheduler will send the request also to that this pod not a big not it's uh like scheduler will identify the na un you unscheduled pod unscheduled worker nodes inside the pod then it will here uh this this thing api server is the end point to the of the cluster and interact with that client and provide the interface for the managing cluster resources right manage the cluster resources uh pod worker node is also so is the cluster uh resource and uh, etcd is uh, storing the persistent the data then send request to that uh, uh scheduler scheduler will identify that unused uh, un uh what that un scheduled pod if you are an other question scheduled pod man pod scheduled nahi hai matlab gc ka koi chal nahi raha hai matlab koi running mein nahi hai uske schedule empty hai then uh, scheduler usko tumhari request assign kar dega to first kya karenge na first mein request ek a matlab ek one just i'm changing a color uh would take this right first and here come here come second and then this is come third 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 okay and third and fourth fourth this is a fourth so now this is uh, what is that uh, this is 
architecture of Kubernetes, guys. Oh, we can interact with the UI also. Here is not a big deal, guys. Here is not a big deal. By using, uh, what is that? Uh, by using uh, uh, C, uh, CLI like kubectl, we have a kubectl. Kubectl is that uh, nothing but uh, using a container communication. Okay. Cluster. And, uh, yeah, right. So we will meet next video, guys. So up to this, I think you have got any idea about the Kubernetes. Okay, next video, we will install the Kubernetes and start working on it. If anything I missed, please comment in the comment box. I will share these notes uh, where I will share. Uh, the, the starting I have told you, FB page is there inside the page. We have one attic study park group. Okay, inside the group, I will share. These are notes I have already shared related to some classes which I have taken. Is all this note as a PDF? Okay, so that's all. And we will meet our next video, next sessions related to Kubernetes where we will learn more things about the Kubernetes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And do subscribe our channel.